Hey, welcome to Mammoth Online. Today we'll be learning about limits and at infinity. So we have three fundamental doubts and this is the last doubt in our limits topic. When we are talking about limit, the first question arises, we just discussed left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit. Right? This is good. But I have a doubt. Okay, so we'll understand this doubt through some series of questions. Let's say I have limit at infinity. Okay, this is regarding infinity. Y equal to 1 by X. Let's see this function. We know this function does not have 0 in its domain. Right? Domain is X belongs to R minus 0. So let's draw this and we'll find out. Okay, let's draw this graph here. We clearly see as 1 by x, as x is tending to greater and greater value, like here, this is x and this is y axis. As x is going towards greater and greater infinity value, 1 by x becomes smaller and smaller and becomes almost 0. But when x is going towards bigger, uh, smaller and smaller numbers, like near zero, it will go to greater and greater values. So the graph will look something like this. I'll show you. It will look something like this. Okay. So this graph will go up and up and up and that will go closer and closer towards zero in the value. Okay. So as x is tending to infinity, one by x is tending towards tending towards 0, the value. And as x is tending towards 0, our 1 by x is tending towards infinity. So this is how it is. In the negative part of the section, uh, you, you can see it will be negative number and it will be very small negative number in the denominator. So it will be a very huge negative number, which means very small number, but very huge negative number. So this is how it will look like. As x is going towards minus infinity, tending towards minus infinity, the value is almost approaching 0. As x is tending towards 0 from the negative side, our value is going towards negative infinity. Okay. So, if somebody asks you, limit x tending to 0, 1 by x, does it exist? what is 1 by x then we can clearly see we can clearly see that from left hand side of the limit is actually going tending towards minus infinity and the right hand side of the limit is tending towards plus infinity so we can satisfactorily say limit does not exist Yeah, this is what we can say okay this is the first question and uh, we it's very simple and clear now i have a fascination here okay fascination is very simple so what if i give a y which is one by x but it is mod x which means now the graph will look little bit different because now in the graph as we can see Now in the graph there will be little changes. It will be same for the positive part as x is tending to infinity. As x is tending to plus infinity, we will see that y is tending towards 0. So the graph will be exactly same for the part. As x is, it is always tending towards 0. And as x is tending to closer and closer to 0, our y value is tending closer and closer towards infinity. Okay. So we can clearly see. From the right hand side also the graph will look exactly similar. So we can clearly see as x is tending towards closer and closer towards 0. Our value is tending closer and closer towards plus infinity. Similarly as x is tending closer and closer to 0. 
our value is tending closer and closer and closer towards positive infinity. So now what I can say here is this. So if somebody asks limit x tending to 0 y or limit x tending to 0 1 by modulus of x is what? Then we do the same procedure. We will find out what is the left hand limit, what is the right hand side of the limit. We can see right, left hand limit is tending towards positive infinity. Right hand side of the limit is also tending towards positive infinity. Right? So my question is since it appears like it appears like left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Is it? So are they actually equal and does limit exist? So we can say left hand limit is tending towards positive infinity yes we can also say right hand limit is tending towards positive infinity yes and it appears that both are equal but the limit does not exist limit does not exist because the value of the limit is not a fixed number limit does not exist because the value of the limit is not a fixed number it is not some fixed L. It is not some fixed numeral. It is infinity. Infinity is not a number. It's an abstract term. It's an idea. So if we are, we know it is going towards a very huge number, and that is why we say it is tending towards infinity. Limit is tending towards infinity. Yes, but it does not exist. You understand? So we say limit is tending towards positive infinity yes yes but limit does not exist so that is the idea because it's not a number we cannot give a number because think like this if it is true if it is true if it were to be limit exists then what does it mean Let's analyze one more thing. Okay. If I say limit exists, let's say if I said limit exists, what will happen is we'll see that right hand limit is positive infinity or tending towards positive infinity. Left hand limit is also tending towards positive infinity. And I know zero does not exist, right? At zero, there is no value. But to me, I know if I put zero, it is also tending towards positive infinity right f of 0 is also positive infinity so which it indirectly says right hand limit if I say limit exists, which means right hand limit is equal to left hand limit is equal to value of the function and I can say function is continuous but which is false which is completely false as we can see the diagram it is not continuous okay it is asymptote there is an asymptote the vertical asymptote is there our y-axis is the asymptote okay so limit does not exist but it tends towards positive infinity we will solve one more question to understand this better let's take a third problem which is very very similar y equal to 1 by x square okay when i put limit x tends to 0 1 by x square does it exist so let's see the graph and we'll find out whether it exists or not okay this is the graph and what we see is in our graph the function at x square we know this is how it goes as x is tending to infinity or value is tending towards 0 as x is tending towards closer and closer towards 0 or value is tending closer and closer towards positive infinity same in the other side of the graph okay as x is tending closer and closer towards 0 y is tending closer and closer towards positive infinity right so what we see is 
even here LHL is e tending towards positive infinity and RHL is also tending towards positive infinity right but since we both are tending towards positive infinity but our limit is not bound it is going towards positive infinity so we say limit does not exist because it is not bounded limit does not exist because it's not bounded to a value okay so if somebody asks limit extends to 0 1 by x square is actually tending towards positive infinity and limit does not exist you must be asking but from both sides it is the same so it should it should it it should exist right no i can give you an example it need, need not be limit, limit can have values but it does not exist can also happen for example take about a function y equal to x square for x belonging to minus infinity to 2 and x square plus 2 for x belonging to closed interval 2 to infinity so we know this function right we can draw the graph of this function pretty easily okay so in the graph we clearly see the function x square till 2 right this will be the function till 2 let's say at 2 it will be value will be equal to let's say 4 okay after 2 we'll get value 6 so that is the function okay this is the graph so at 2 we are hollow we don't have anything and after that we have some value and that is how it is done okay so yes now if somebody asks me what limit x tends to 2 f of x or this is f of x what is it i know from when i approach the value this is 2 right when i approach from the left hand side i am going closer and closer towards a value called 4 so i know left hand limit is equal to 4 or approximately equal to 4 okay from right hand side when i approach 2 i am coming from this graph and i see the value is going closer and closer towards 6 so right hand limit is equal to 6 okay so even though limit is 4 exist for f of x and it is 4 and uh, limit exists for right hand side and it is equal to 6 even though limit exists for both both sides LHL exist left hand limit exists right hand limit exists but they are not equal not equal to right hand limit so what we say is the function functions limit does not exist does not exist at 2 so that is what we will say so same thing here so even though limit what what is happening is limit x tends to 0 minus for 1 by x square is plus infinity which is LHL limit x tends to 0 plus 1 by x square is also tending to plus infinity that is RHL so both exist and both are similar because infinity is not a number so we cannot say same but yeah both are existing so both are both exist and it is going towards infinity but since the value is undefined or infinity we will say limit is tending towards infinity but it does not exist okay i hope it is clear because we cannot this infinity and this infinity might be same we don't know but it's an idea so we cannot comment on it it's undefined so limit does not exist so that is why limit does not exist 
we cannot bound it bound the value because limit in general is denoted when we have a defined value we get out of it it shouldn't be infinite thank you